Everybody to the gospel party. I'm your boy Willie H, aka DJ Slack, no lack all black. I'm here with Rhea Mao. Also, my daughter Shonda H, the writer, is in the house with us. All right, Bria. Um, yes. Basically, I want you to introduce yourself. I'm I, I've seen you in the show The Culture. I really enjoy it. You and DJ I Rock and um really love uh so tell us first i want to hear about you who is bria yeah yeah so uh first thank you mr willie for having me on your show i'm excited to be here kicking it with you and your daughter having some great conversations so yeah um my name is bria miles i am a christian hip-hop recording artist first and foremost a believer in jesus christ Amen. which is why i chose um and i continue to choose christian hip-hop um i'm also an author a speaker a host um so much is going on the actress now i've got that up under uh, my belt which is really fun and i'm a minister you know what i mean so i love the lord i love god's people i love really advancing um, how we approach things in the kingdom so that like you said earlier like we can actually compete complete compete that part too compete <laughs> and have a platform for us to grow for us to be heard for us to be seen and i'm um, ultimately really advancing god's kingdom that's why we do anything that we do so so yeah that's me that's me amen all right so bria um let's talk, talk about i want you to talk about the culture I want mm -hmm. you to talk about um, um, you being an actress, some of the things you've done, and and also the some of the people that you have interviewed, your host, and some of the things you plan to do with this show. Yeah, so um, with For the Culture, like, you know, it's, it's a show that by the grace of God, um, God really was completely opened that door. And I know that we hear that a whole lot. Yeah, God opened up that door. And like, God really opened up that door. I wasn't looking to do radio. I never thought about doing radio or anything like that. That just wasn't on my radar. But um, when they approached, they were like, yo, we think you would be great for radio. Um, what do you think about this? And they shared, you know, with me what it would be, what it would look like. I was like, oh, wow. And I had to really step outside of what I envision to say, okay, how can God use this and how is God looking to use this to advance his kingdom and allow people to hear the gospel? So like uh, when they approached me, I didn't get it initially, but then when I seen that God was working out something much bigger, I was like, okay, God, I see what you're doing. This is really to push, like I said, the kingdom. And so like with the show, we just really have a good time. We have great conversations. We highlight Christian hip hop and RNG. And for those of you that don't know what RNG is rhythm and gospel, which we coined that phrase. So anytime you ever hear RNG, it came from For the Culture. And me and DJ I Write Jesus, we get together. Um, not only are we on the radio, four different stations. We're on um, Phrase 100.9 FM here in Charlotte. We're also on Dash Radio, GH3 Radio, which is powered by Dash. And we're also on Tap and ND1 Radio. So um, it's doing very well. I don't even think it's been, a, it's maybe been six months um, since the show has come out. And we also do a live stream every Friday. And um, it's going extremely well. And um, people love it. It gives, you know, people opportunity to come on. We've interviewed so many different people. We've had a whole lot of different people on the show from uh, Melody Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, shucks, the Christian recording artist Saga. 
um uh what's my what's my guy's name loso there's been so many different people genetics has come on I, that was a really great interview that we did and um yeah we just have really good conversations and always highlight um the kingdom you know what i mean and Amen. i think we'll be really surprised to see like even when we do people who are in mainstream world like the pull that the lord has on their heart from the conversation and the dialogue that we have, you know what I mean? It's really great to see the results of that as well. But it's, you know, strictly it's for the culture, it's for the kingdom, you know, we have a good time. Amen. One of the things I like about you, um, you know, young lady, but you seem to be mindful of prayer, meditation with God, and that really impressed me. Another thing that impressed me is that um, I saw some videos of yours, um, and um, how do you get? How did you get started with the um, with that career with the gospel, being a gospel artist and mm -hmm. the videos? How how did you get started? How did that start for you? Yeah, so um, it wasn't necessarily something that I was looking to do. Um, again, like we never know how God has stuff orchestrated. We never do. All we can never do is follow the voice of the Holy Spirit and be obedient. And on the other side of that is so much more that we've never expected. And so for me, to be honest, I was just cleaning the bathroom at my church. <laughs> It seems, it seems like wow. everybody is cleaning the bathroom. That's a, it seems like that's the way God um, elevates. Clean it. Clean, do you something. The toilet. <laughs> like he's like Mr. Miyagi. Um, yes, wax on, gotta... wax off. Keep this Clean level, then you get to the next level. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. And I wasn't even looking at it like that. I just, I just knew for me, I just knew who I was. And coming into the faith, I was like, yo, I need to practice humility. That's something that I need. I need that in my life because I hadn't been taught that. And it wasn't a natural thing, you know, for me. We all got our things, you know what I mean? But I was like, yo, I need to do certain things. I need to implement certain practices so that I can actually be an authentic Christian and not just putting on and that's something that I never wanted to do was be a put on Christian, you know, act one way in public, but um, a whole nother way, a whole nother way behind closed doors and even in public sometimes. So that was one of the things that I implemented. And what happened was I was just rapping a random song out loud. And the pastor at the time heard me because, you know, the way, where it was centered, where the restroom was centered, like you could hear everything. It was like basically in the heart of the church. And so he was like, hey, yo, B, is that you? And um, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's me. And um, he was like, yo, you need to consider doing that. And I considered it. I listened to him and it just kept growing. And um, it's just been an incredible opportunity because, you know, when we have, when we see so much in church culture, so many things that have happened that aren't necessarily the right representation. And maybe some people did start off with a great heart, but the fame of it all got in their way and clouded the yeah, vision yeah. then they misrepresented the lord and then their decisions just kept on sucking so every time somebody would see them it was like mm, i don't know if i want to be a believer and so i think you know with christian hip-hop and with what god has called me to do i'm extremely mindful of that because i was that person that said i don't want ever want to be a christian based off of what i'm seeing and so man i just think that god is calling for us to be who we are called to be, to be who we are created and placed on this earth to be. And we're called to be authentic. No, not perfect, but we don't use that as an excuse to not progress. And we don't use progression as an excuse to not actually meet the standard that God requires us. So yeah, that's what I feel. Speaking of authenticity, so you said your pastor heard you rapping. Uh-huh. That's yes. amazing. And, and like you were saying with, um, I think, and church culture especially like black church culture and things like mm. that there's this image that it's judgmental that they're not progressive so Back. it's exciting to see that you know your pastor was like pushing saw that talent and that um that uh passion in you and really pushed you into that artistry and mm. um with you being i'm kind of curious with you being an artist first and now you're um interviewing other artists and really sharing um, other artists' art, like how has that kind of helped you in interviewing and helping and elevating other Christian artists? 
Um, I always look at the unity factor of it. I don't think I've um, looked at it through any other lens other than I understand that God, according to the Bible, Ephesians 4, like is literally calling us to have unity. And I think that's been a hindrance in the actual movement and the progression of the kingdom. Like, because nobody wants to support each other. Somebody is always afraid that somebody's going to be better. So they don't want to help them or they don't feel like they're good enough. There's always compare. So it's just all of this extra stuff that we shouldn't have. And so for that reason, we don't really reach, a lot of people don't really reach the height of what God has called them to. And it's because you can't be stingy. You just can't be stingy. You can't be insecure. You can't be all of these things and claim the name of Christ and expect God to um, authentically elevate you without you doing backdoor stuff. And so for me, I never looked at it as any other way than like, yo, let me help my bro, let me help my sis, like let's show what the kingdom is made of. We've got quality music, like we can we can go right. with anybody. Like at this point, I believe that Christian hip hop can stand with any mainstream Amen. artist. Like we oh, got yeah. the artist, every single genre, um, in every single category of our genre. We've got an artist, we got a female rapper, we got a male rapper, we got a group, we got a dance, we got all of this type of stuff. And I just feel that now we just need authentic platforms. So like for the culture, that's what we wanted to do. Like we want to give authentic platform for people to display their gifts. And we're very mindful of who um, you know, we bring on because we want people to be representing what they're saying because that's another part. Because we're not just regular rap. Like we we actually have to live what we say. And so by the grace of God, everybody's been great. You know what I mean? We've had great convo and great movement. Amen. That's awesome. Amen. All right, um Bria, I think we are good here. Um I'm gonna say to you, keep going. I like what I see. Uh, I'm really excited about you, your energy, your faith. Um, keep building up because we need, like you said, I agree with what you want. You said we need these platforms. We need for Christian people. And like you said, it has elevated to a point where we are acceptable by all. Oh, matter of fact, now I'm starting to... Um, like even when I play, I make mixtapes now, and mm. people who are not in church, they love the talent. They love the music. They I was gonna them. say the same thing. Um, I have a blog called Sneak Vibing where I basically talk about like local artists in Buffalo and stuff, and mm. I do like this yearly countdown. And on my countdown, I try to be diverse as possible, and I had Who's Meech on there, and all mm. these local rappers from Buffalo. These are secular artists. They're like. He's a dope Christian rapper. Like, I didn't even know that he lived here. And I'm like, yeah, there's a whole collective that lives here. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's really important to share, uh, give balance to the narrative, especially in rap music. Facts. I think it's detrimental right now. So um, yeah. that's exciting. And like with my dad putting me on to you, I'm going to be really interested in just um, tapping in what you guys are doing because I think it's exciting. Yeah, well, what, crazy. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. One, of, one of the things you said, I feel like we've been fortunate for the last at least 10 years in Buffalo here. A lot of the talent has done that, has unified. And I see even yeah. with you, with you yeah. even coming on with us, I'm coming, you know, having this interview. I see the unifying and it's, it's happening and it's becoming bigger and better. And, and for that reason, now the, the artists can go further. Like a bunch of the artists, local artists, ten years ago they was unknown. Now a lot of them are known. AI, Zeta, um, yeah, a, a bunch of them. Um, and that's because of unity. Like that's the that's the purpose of it. Like a lot of times, like I don't see it anywhere else, but a lot of times in like gospel music or you know Christian hip hop music, like the lack of unity kills the movement, yeah. you know what I mean? And anything, yeah. like there's never been a movement with just one person. Like it's Black History Month, like Mal Malcolm X, Megger Evers, Martin Luther King, all the people that we look up to and that helped us to be able to get in this place and position, Though they had powerful voices, they never did anything by themselves. There was always right, a team, there right. was always somebody in every city that opened up a door so that they right. could have a platform to preach or talk right. or whatever it is that they did. Everybody came together for the cause and for that reason, we're here right now because people got together. And I Amen. think that if Christian people as a whole ever really caught that mentality, we would see so much more growth and everybody would be more sustained financially everybody would have more opportunities but 
until we develop that men mentality, there's only going to be a few, you know what I mean? A few people to do well. And we got to kill that, especially yeah, since we got I the agree. message of Jesus. We got to kill it. But I agree. I appreciate y'all so much for what you're doing. Thank and y'all you. are in Buffalo, mm -hmm. Buffalo, New York. I got oh. family in Buffalo. And, Who's your family? Um, Who's your family? Uh, you, I, I don't know if you know my cousin, uh, what's her, what's her, what's her, Courtney. You might not know Court. I forget. Courtney. She got married. Yeah. Courtney and Sam. Uh, you might not know okay. the Pruitts, the Hall, uh, the Pruitts. Yeah, the, the Pruitts Hall. sounds familiar. The they Hall. do. They do sound familiar. That last name sounds really familiar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my squad. They up there. So I got family. I got family all up and through there. And I was right. actually not too long ago um, linking with them. But yeah, it's a small world. I like Buffalo. I like yeah. Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo. We we're, we're doing it here, girl. We doing it. We doing it. I see a lot we're of like our a secret. We're like, uh, yeah, right now. no, because there's a lot of a lot of our Christian artists are doing really big things. I'm so proud mm -hmm. of them, you know, because it's been a, a while for me, and I'm proud to see a show like yours too. I'm really like, oh, okay, we got it. We, yeah, we 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 getting there. We getting there. So I'm very excited. That's why I had you on because I wanted to share you and let people know. Here's what we got: Bria Miles. The culture. Wow. So. Wow, I appreciate that. I thank you so much just for your heart, your energy, your support. Because like you said, it, it really takes that support. You know what I mean? And sometimes I feel like a lot of us try to recreate the wheel. Um, yeah. We don't yeah. have to recreate the wheel. Like we just yeah. support the wheel that's already in place. And then right. get in a position and push that wheel. Everybody has something. Right. So I just appreciate you for extending your hand yeah. and um, you know being gracious like yeah, that. Any, anything that I can do with you guys, because I'm I'm probably going to try to, my goal now is I'm going to try to get my local artists, you know, but I'm also going to reach out and get, you know, so I want, because I want everybody to know Rhea Miles and DJ I Rock Jesus and all, there's so m many of us, so many of us, and I feel like a lot of people don't know us, but like you said, a collaborative effort. We'll get known. We push. We help. We bless each other. We pray for one another. That part. Amen. All right. Let, before we go, let's say a quick prayer. Because okay. that's one of the things I like about your show. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this night. We thank you for your loving kindness, your tender mercy. Thank you for Rhea Miles and her family, the culture. DJ I Rock Jesus, that family there, Lord God, continue to bless them. Meet their need in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we pray for Mr. Willie and his daughter. Glory. We pray that you would um continue to bless the efforts of her hand, give revelation you, in Lord. areas that they need revelation, give wisdom in areas that they need wisdom, give peace and provisions in the areas that they need peace and provision. May Hallelujah. understanding and clarity of who you are to them and who you are to be in their lives come to them tonight. As they you, rest, Lord. speak to them even in their dreams and let them clearly understand that it is you speaking and nothing or nobody else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, bring your mouths in the house. Hi. Oh, well, let me see, though. Let me see, though. She got the puppy. Hey, Miss Dawn. How you doing? <laughs> A little bit. How you doing, Miss yeah. Dawn? It was, it was nice to hear you on the phone. Oh, you, you really, really, you really, bl you really that. blessed me. You really blessed me. Oh, like, who's this lady? <laughs> I got it. I got it. Get to the Lord. The joy of the Lord. That's all amen. It is. Amen. All right. This is my daughter. My you see my daughter, Shad, my oldest daughter. She's a writer, journalist major. She writes for oh, wow. several local papers here. So, okay. I, What's I, your name? Yeah, yeah. I, I always ask her. Sandra. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Sandra. Where are you? Buffalo, New York, same as my father. No, I can't, how like, you there you are. Hey. <laughs> oh, you, you can't see, see her? You can't see her. She be able to see her. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh unless, unless, you know, when you're Her screen, her screen, yeah. All righty, guys, I'm going to cut out. Bria, okay. good night. Miss Dawn, good night. What, good what's, night. The pu what's the puppy name? Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> you better be careful. I'll get some butter now. Let me stop. Either way. Either way. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. God bless bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
blaming on the estrogen We don't do it like the rest of them But we do it with the best of them With the best of men Yes, the best I am Got on my campaign trail Yes, I can Told me that I couldn't And I wouldn't, but I did Because I'm a woman I shouldn't and won't win Nah, but look at me now, though Shows overseas, you buy my albums Nah, I don't wanna be no tomboy Nope, and I don't wanna be no sex toy Nope, hell need all your gimmicks Don't care about your cynics Don't care about your critics Everybody's always gonna have something to say But the reality is The talent that I display has nothing to do with Race or gender But everything to do with God's agenda Click up on the scene 